I think the Canva investment for us at Shasta was an exception on so many different dimensions. The company was based in Sydney, Australia. It was raising convertible note at a $25 million valuation cap. It had no revenue yet. It had a bunch of early signs of product market fit, actually, like several hundred thousand monthly active users of Canva. It was growing 30 to 40% every month, but it broke a lot of the traditional rules. You know, we thankfully decided to make that investment, but there were all sorts of reasons to let it go. Dude, I mean, that just uh, for the context, a like married couple is co-founders. Yes. A couple as co-founders is a contentious one. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Non-technical in Sydney, Australia, not a like stellar who's who of like seed investors before because it was so early. Like I look at that and I love Cliff and Mel, but I don't know if I would have done it. Yeah. But I think when you dug beneath the surface on what was actually happening and people using the product, you could see what I just described, which is, wow, there's a hundred thousand people using this every month. And you could see that cohort retention in the first six cohorts looked very strong. It looked like it was flatlining. It was also fragmented usage. You know, it wasn't just Facebook posts and infographics. It was also pitch decks. It was also posters. It was a lot of different types of media and it was growing completely organically. And so all of those characteristics gave it some early signs of product market fit. If you only stared at that, you could see that there was something really special here.